What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We made it. Today is going to be quick. I don't have that much for you. But what I do have for you is, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bri Easy, a.k.a. Fresh for the Salon, BKA, the People's Champ Fat. And today, all I have for you is um the comparison. And the comparison is, which candy bar is your favorite? Is it the Snickers with the peanuts? Or is it the Twix, the caramel and the chocolate mixed together, and now they got a right and a left, but can you really tell the difference between the right and left? Did you know that? They yeah, got a right and left? Yeah. Which one you like? I'm both on. I just get the regular Twix pack. I never buy right or left Twix. Yeah, me neither. So I don't know if there's a taste difference. Anyway, but when I was younger, I liked Twix. But um, now that I'm older, I like Snickers. Only because sometimes when I have gone the whole day without eating, I need something fast. Like, a Snickers bar could be there, and it has peanuts in it. And to me, that's like a quick pick-me-up. But drop it down in the comments below. What you going with? The Snickers or the Twix? Twix or Snickers? Drop it down below, and don't forget to hit the like button. Peace. Get out my seat. Get out my seat. Get what? All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into the news, man. Now, one thing for certain, two things for sure. We got a lot of little, we got a lot of news, little time to get into it with. Guarantee we under 12 minutes today. You can clock, you can set your clock by. But anyway, man, look. First things first, I pop and freaks all the honeys, dummies, Playboy bunnies, those wanting money. But anyway, uh, look, man, check it out. NBA 2K Labs has done an awesome video on the finishing badge. It's testing out contact finisher, pro touch, and slithery. Now. I've been telling y'all since the game's inception that Slithery Finisher is a deceptively overpowered badge. And pretty much what they found is, I know I knew what it did, but I didn't know exactly how to explain it. But what I can tell you is, when I put on Slithery Finisher, my guy would go to the rim and dunk on people a lot more than if I didn't have it on. And at the same time, I would go to the rim and make layups and all of that and stuff like that. I knew that he avoided contact at all costs. And so that he would take certain routes to the rim that other people probably wouldn't take or that he would otherwise wouldn't take and all of that stuff. What they found is that the actual quantification of it is he takes the route that gives him the least contested layup that, or, or dunk. So he avoids contact was correct but he also avoids a contest so avoiding the contest whatever he needs to do to avoid that contest that's what he's gonna do with slithery with pro touch you know they, they, they got a whole lot of stuff like here we go right here uh slithery finisher will help you evade the contact altogether which is ideal for attacking the rim contact finisher will help you make those shots when you take contact uh from defenders uh, more slashes will probably want both. And a lot of people thought that slithery finishing and contact finisher counteracted each other. No, just because he's avoiding the contact doesn't mean he won't get the contact. So slithery is to avoid the contact and avoid the contest. And then when you do get contacted or contested, contact finisher helps you go ahead and finish it. I can tell you one thing. I got it on my center. I have a giant slayer and um, I got giant slayer and I have contact finisher on my center and I can go to the rim. Like I said, for some reason, he wouldn't even dunk when I didn't have on Giant Slayer. I don't know why, but uh, you know, hey, maybe it's just something in the game. But like I said, they did an awesome video on it. They got all the quantifications. They're showing you that when you're using Slithery Finisher, you get, it's fewer contests. And they did it with 100% contests and all of that stuff. Like in a situation that would provide, that would yield 100% contest, they they did it. And, um, and they're showing you that a lot of these times it drops the contest down it drops the contest down to like uh, like right here. In a situation where it would have been 100% contest with no bads, 40% of the time, uh, it was it was contest. On Hall of Fame, it said it was like a contest like 28% of the time. So you see that? I mean, that's that's really with no bads, with no bads, with a, with a defender at 6'5", it's going to, it's going to um, no bads, the defender 6'5", with Slithery, you're gonna have, it's gonna be a 69% contest. But as you go up to bronze and silver and all of that, it goes down to 55% um, was the average contest or whatever. You, and as we know in 2K, that's way more than enough to make a layup. But really the big thing is, if you got a slasher or a dunker, if that shot, if it comes up as not being contested, then 
he's going to dunk the basketball. And he's going to finish. And it's just like if you see my boy T. Mills, he put on Slithery, even All City TV. Y'all need to go check out his channel. He put on Slithery. And he said when he put on Slithery, he put on Contact, and he put on all those things, he catching bodies now. Now, if you're still, if you got a play slasher and he refuses to go to the rim and bang on people, you probably, you, you done missed the train. You've been missing my videos. You have not been watching me. I'm telling y'all all the stuff that makes your player whole so much better. See, T. Mills will play with me. So he gets, he always gets the, the inside scoop. And even if he don't really believe me all the way, he can listen to the dumb shit that I say and he can try it out and try it out for a couple of games. Like, damn, that was right. And you know, so so it don't, it don't cost you nothing to listen and just give it a try. Nobody got it all figured out, but hey, we try to figure a lot of stuff out over here. Anyway, speaking of figuring stuff out, man, look, man. The overtime team has launched. And first of all, they're giving away free VC. So we got overtime 2K. Um, to celebrate the official launch, who needs some VC? Reply to this tweet and let us know we might have a couple of a couple million to give away. So, you know, um, hey. A couple million. So let me go ahead and retweet that, man. So this segue is Overtime 2K. You might be thinking, what is that? Well, who's a part of it? What do they do? Listen, you had the TW beef. You had all that stuff this week. It was all a genjutsu. Like I said, I was saying in the beginning, and actually I got intel about like a day into it, actually behind the scenes detail. Uh, intel that that it was all a genjutsu but i gotta report the news as it is i can't go on hunches and, and put stuff like that out there especially when i can milk a story all week so that's what i did but like i said i said in the beginning it looks real unless they got some of the best uh acting coaches in the world to to coach them along in these videos when i saw hank video i knew it wasn't real because of some of the transitions that he had at the beginning of his video it was professionally edited and stuff and the other ones they were professionally edited but they were made to seem like they weren't this video right here lets me know that they had those acting coaches and all of that stuff like that because this is a video that was professionally done this is probably about 20 this is probably about a twenty thousand thirty thousand dollar video right here easily easily 20 grand 30 grand easily to um you know to 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 do this and the only reason i'm saying this is because a lot of times when they drop trailers and stuff like this uh like these videos and all that let's go to the overtime channel a lot of times when they drop these trailers and all of this stuff like here man they normally give you up um what do they give you they normally give you a budget of about 20 20 grand 25 grand they gave this guy um this guy's toast 20 grand just to do a trailer saying that he was going to uh start doing um he was gonna start streaming on facebook and stuff so we know that they have the money these these companies have the money man they got it to go but like i said this is easily a 20 grand video um or something like that but for them to announce that they're all going over there and you got hollywood up here hollywood you know still doing this thing like i said it was something to get everybody's eyes on them and it's an awesome thing and as long as you don't go exposed but like i said me, me and t mizzle i think we was on monday we was talking about it. we were like yo bro everybody's saying the exact same thing in the exact same way about this and that you think it's fake i was like eh it probably is they probably doing i even told the dude that i was talking to on twitter i was like yo i wouldn't be surprised if they're about to start some type of 2k reality series or something like that and uh you know hey here we are on friday it was all like in jutsu and uh hey but it was good news for me and, and a good news outlet. And uh, we milked the story all damn week, and that's all That's all you're aiming to do. You don't want to try to debunk something day one, man, because it yields results. Anyway, last but not least, man, bro, people still boosting in this game. I'm on the NBA 2K Reddit, and I'm like, brother, this dude really says, this is yesterday, one day ago. Boosting need someone with an extra console. I'm boosting, and I need someone with an extra console hit me up if you got an extra console and want to boost for real are we still doing this is that legal huh oh uh, it's legal as far as legal as in in the real world but like 2K. 2k terms of service no you'll get banned immediately so why are people still boosting is it really that important to get that backpack 
Is it really that important to get that free backpack and all this stuff, man, that you got to end up paying for? Is it really that, that important, like we, like people be saying on stream, to be naked out there with no shirt on and people just going to run from you anyway? I don't get it, man. Like, what do you get out of boosting, especially if you don't stream, if you don't, if you don't stream, if you don't um, do YouTube, Twitch, anything like that, and you're not get, what do you get out of, out of boosting and getting high reps in the game just to get splattered by when you play somebody for real? Like I, I just don't understand the mentality of a boost. I mean, I guess walk driving around on the skateboard and on the tandem bike with with uh with mascots and all of that stuff. That's cool, but I just don't understand what one gets out of boosting because it doesn't make you better at the game. It's not like you're ranking up and getting things that are helping you play the game better. Maybe gym rat. You, maybe one can say maybe gym rat or something like that. But I really just I don't understand it. Maybe you guys do, but um, I just don't get it, man. Boosting the whole boosting culture and all of that good stuff, I don't get it. I can see if you're saying you're trying to get your badges quick, and so um, I need somebody to help me boost these badges. You just pay me to do your badges. Look, bro, I played 37 games, got all my badges on 2K. <laughs> like, like, I might be the best badge ground of all time. 37 games, no glitz, none of that stuff. I got all my badges. Um, with my center. Now all I got to do is get in the 99 and I'm good. But I, I just don't understand the whole boosting culture, man. Like, it's one of those things where it's just like, for what? I I don't know. Anyway, man, like I said, I also put up a video last night, the best jump shot for big man. Now, if you got a big man, you need to send him over to that video, the best lineup and all that good stuff. But like I said, man, I think most of us, even with EJ, well, you know, he had put out there, um, you know, we I, I think this whole thing is against Jusu. But we got to get up out of here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole thing. And let me know, Snickers or Twix? Damn it, I say Snickers or Twix. Y'all let me know which one's y'all best one down in the comments. I'm going to eat both of them. But if I'm really hungry that day, I, I need the, the peanuts that are in the Snickers and they give me what I need. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe more than 2K content. I'm out of here until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Godspeed!